morning friends now that i've had a little time to look at the enigma island and the enigma beast today i'm going to focus on your enigma field so your enigma field which you can get to through the enigma menu or on your enigma island by clicking on the building for it looks like what you see in front of you i've placed the five enigma beasts the first thing to remember is that your five beasts that are displayed in your enigma field are the ones that are currently active and their stats are actually helping you. The other ones are just sitting there in your little Enigma building and they're not really, those. their stats aren't helping you right now. It's like HT chips, that's how I think of it. Like when you put the HT chips on the HT, then they're helping your stats. Otherwise, they're just extra HT chips. The second thing to keep in mind is your Enigma field goes from slot one to slot five from back to front on this one and if slot one is activated then slot two will activate and if slot three is activated then slot four will activate so for example if you look at me slot three i don't activate that because i don't have level 15 navy mastery yet i do have level 15 air force mastery but that doesn't work for me yet because slot three is not activated so it would be important for me right now to get my Navy Mastery to level 15. And I think Alliance Duel Mastery Day is coming up. So it gives me a good idea what I should probably do that day. Um, you're... And then now the way this works. So there's a few things that you have to look at. One is at each spot, there's a different Enigma Beast that can go there. And the game will tell you. So like if I click here, I've got this eagle here. And then if I click this red button under the eagle on that little pad, I can switch it and it shows me all the other Enigma Beasts that I could put there. Now over there you can see the stats of the Enigma Beast. The first stat is like their primary stat, the next two are their additional stats. You can notice that one is significantly better than the others. That's normal. Now the stats are a wide range of stats. So early on you're probably at the mercy of what you get when you open your first few enigma beasts but as you go you'll probably get to pick and choose more so i could switch this with any one of these the main stat to look at for your enigma field is the potential which is important because that's how you get the boost up so i might actually switch this one with this one but i gotta see about that so I'll look into that in a minute. But the potential multiplies your Enigma effect, and I'll show you how. So there's your stats. So now this from this eagle, I'm getting that 4% HP boost on offense, that Navy attack and Air Force HP boost all the time. And then I'm getting a plus 9.5% on all forces mastery 5 tier effect. So if you look at that, at the bottom here it says I have plus and then the slot so that's my enigma beast right I can upgrade my enigma beast if I click on this magnifying glass you'll see the enigma beast I'm using there's two ways to upgrade the enigma beast. you could do a level up for which you can use other enigma beast or you could use that exp that you've been collecting in your inventory from alliance duel all you have to do on that EXP in the inventory is click it and click use and then you'll have EXP here. So if I click that, you know, 221 EXP will get me to level 13 and that'll improve those three stats that much. Now you'll notice it does not improve my main stat. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know what the highest level is, but I mean, I can get this guy to level 57 and that's not the highest. So I will figure that out as we go. But I don't recommend wasting your EXP on your early Enigma Beast unless you're sure it's a really good one because you're probably going to get better Enigma Beast that you're going to want to use it on. And although, you know, in the past for Titan Gear and HT chips, we've always gotten our EXP back, there's no guarantee that you'll get your EXP back right now. So, or what percentage of it you will get back. So I would look at that. The other way to upgrade your Enigma Beast is your star upgrade if i click that the only way to upgrade your enigma beast star level is by consuming other enigma beasts of the same species and rarity 
So, for example, to improve this gold eagle start, I'd have to consume other gold eagles. I do have one, I don't have two, and you need two to do the first level. And after that, it goes up. But if you look, their HP boost goes up significantly. And the other stats go up significantly. So the star upgrade is more powerful than the level upgrade. But it's also more costly because you have to consume Enigma beasts of the same species and rarity. So those stats can be upgraded here. And if I go back to my Enigma field, specific ones that can be put down anywhere. But now let's just take a look here at my, this one. So you can see at the bottom, I need five of these uh, Enigma repeaters to improve this slot. Now, what will that do if I improve that slot? If you click where it says that Navy Mastery, you can see exactly. So I don't meet the criteria, so I can't show you that one here. Let's look at this one. Slot two, okay. This is all forces mastery tier 10 effect boost. So I need 10 repeaters to upgrade to the next slot. If you click, it'll show you that That'll give me 0.299% more decreased damage, 0.899% more HP. Now the reason why that upgrade is so low and the actual attribute boost is so low right now is because the Enigma Beast I have here only has 6,255 potential. The maximum is 16,000. So I need to get an Enigma Beast with more potential to put there. If he has more potential, I'll get more stats here because I'll be using more of the effect. I think right now I'm only using like 38% of the effect. So the better your Enigma Beast potential is, the more of that effect you will lose. Now, so as you level up, like for example here I've got it at level 4. So I'm at 33% increase and with the 12,722 potential here, you can see my actual boost right now is 7.2% on attack and HP. And with my next upgrade, which will cost 20 repeaters, it'll go up 9%. So the better your potential is, the more of the effect of these pads you're going to get. And that's where you're going to get a nice sizable upgrade as you go. Another thing to keep in mind here is while this is a nice Enigma field here, it's not the only Enigma field. If you click this blue button right in the middle right of your screen, you will see that in six days we have another Enigma field coming, and then we have another one coming soon after that. So what, what happens here is these other Enigma fields will have to do with other things, not mastery, but other things like maybe your equipment or whatever, and we'll improve those things. So while there are specific beasts that fit in these slots, there will be other specific beasts that fit in the slots for those other Enigma fields. And those Enigma Beast attributes will count as well, and that'll help that area. So you wanna be careful when you start doing star upgrades because while, let's just say my my good old deer here, if I click on them and I click star, I've got, you know, seven deer here. I actually need one more anyway. But I wanna make sure that I have enough deer so that if I open a new Enigma field, I have the type I need to activate the slot. If I can't activate the slot, it's useless to me. So as you go, you'll probably have enough Enigma Beasts to do whatever you want. But right now, you want to make sure in the early going that you don't just consume all your other Enigma Beasts right away. Because one, the one you're improving might not be the one you want to keep in the long run. And two, the one you're consuming might be useful to you at least for the first month or two, where it is. So, make sure you have other Enigma Beasts of that type before you consume them. And when you are consuming them, you can hold down on top of them and the stats will come up. So you can see their potential and what stats they have. And that way you'll know, like, okay, these are my weaker ones of this type. So, for example, if I have fire type, I'm just going to call them deer. I have two of them here. One of them, I get these stats, and I have 6,000-something potential. The second one, I get 5,898 potential on these stats. So 
I may say, okay, yeah, I'm going to consume the 5,898 one because I still have a fire type deer if I need that to activate a slot. Keeping in mind that when you go back here, as you can see with me here, slot one and slot two are active. Slot three is not active. If for any reason you can't activate one of the slots, it's not going to activate all the slots after it. My slot four could be active, but because slot three is not active, slot four is not active. And that's going to happen on all the Enigma fields you see. So basically, and then if you want to get an overview, you can click on the attributes button on the top right. And that'll show you all the attributes you're currently getting from your Enigma field. And that, you know, just so you have an idea of what it's doing for you right now. That's the basics of the way the Enigma field work. So please be smart. Don't just start, you know, leveling up the first beast you get. Make sure your beast is good and it's actually going to help you. And then, uh, you know, there's going to be some luck involved as you open these. And that's part of Top War, unfortunately, is that there's a lot of luck involved. But over time, you will start to get them like HT chips with what you need. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them. As you can see, I've already messed up a little bit by taking slot 4 to level 3 when it's not even activated happens but i make the mistakes so you don't have to anyhow that's enough for the enigma field video i'll have more stuff on enigma beasts over the next couple days as we're getting used to them stay tuned make sure you hit like and subscribe guys cookie out